Trip here with TripAdvice.com, teaching you the steps on how to get the girl while still being your genuine self. And today we're talking about how to pick up girls while being yourself. Do you want to know how to pick up girls while being natural? Are you tired of all the weird routines and pickup lines that just aren't you? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to meet women while still remaining true to who you are. A lot of guys tell me, and you might be one of them, that they just want women to like them for them and not have to put on some show. So how do you actually do that? How can you turn a woman on and pick her up while still being you? Well, there's four different areas you need to focus on to be amazing at picking up women, and I'll tell you all about each area and how you can master them without compromising who you are. Area number one, be clear on what you want. When you're clear on the type of girl that you're interested in, then you won't have to settle. And I don't want you to settle. I want you to find the type of girl that's amazing for you. But in order to find that person and be yourself, you need to be clear on what you want and then create a plan to go get it. What does this girl look like? What's her personality like? Where do these types of girls hang out? And maybe that's not difficult for you. Maybe you're actually overwhelmed by the amount of amazing women that you do meet not a problem, then you're just one step ahead. Either way, write down a physical list, like write down a list of the type of girls that you want to meet and get a good idea of what you're looking for. Area number two, release your ego. It's harmful to care about what others think of you, and this gets in the way of being able to meet more women. The second you seek external validation or validation from others, that's the minute you lose control. So what does this all mean? This means that if a girl rejects you, then you can't let it become the true meaning of who you are as a person. When guys get rejected, they take it personally and they let it destroy their ego. Your ego is not you. In fact, your ego is just a little guy inside of your head always telling you that you're not good enough and to be scared of the future and to be worried about the past. Release that. Who cares if people are around you when you want to approach a girl? Who cares if she rejects you? Do you care? Why should you? It means nothing. In order to release your ego, you need to try meditation. Try that for five minutes today to help with staying more in the moment and not thinking about the things that don't matter. Area number three, the way you carry yourself. One of the best ways to show confidence and get women attracted to you is the way you carry yourself. Think about the way you walk around on this earth. Do you walk into every room like you own it? Do you move when people are in your way or do you let them move? Do you hold yourself up with straight posture and give women a seductive gaze? The way you carry yourself and control your body language will say a lot about you the next time that you meet a woman. And you can easily become this man without compromising the real you. So go ahead, pull back your shoulders, straighten your back, look up, look forward, never break eye contact with the people that you talk to. Area number four, learn how to tell your stories. When you're talking to a girl, you have to learn how to tell stories. Storytelling is one of the keys to drawing people in and getting them attracted. Being able to hold the attention of a whole group of people will be the key to your success in picking up girls. What I don't suggest is that you use other people's stories. Instead, use your own. What are your special stories that will engage people? And maybe they're not interesting. Here's a little trick. Tell them with an excited tone and they're gonna sound exciting, I promise. I want you to write down another list. Write down some of the best stories that you have and practice telling them to people in conversation. Use different parts of the stories in different conversations and see how people react to different parts. That way, you'll know the absolute best way to tell your most interesting stories. Now, to really master the skills of connecting with women and flirting, I put together a free video series. It's called the 15-Minute Super Seduction Course, and I want to give you this free video series absolutely free. Here's what you need to do. Click right here or click the link below this video in the description box and you're going to get it immediately. It's going to show you more advanced touching moves. It's going to show you what to say to turn her on and how to get her thinking about you day after day and all doing this within 15 minutes. So go ahead, click the link below and I'll give you that free series immediately. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.